back up to their feet and start over, but Caliendo did a great job chasing that down. Opportunity for Penn now. Nick Incontrera is going for the Quakers. I believe for Iowa, we did get Patrick Kennedy at 174. So the match that many were looking forward to as one of these toss-up bouts because Incontrera for Penn actually has the advantage in the rankings. He's ranked 10th in the country at 174. Kennedy, number 14. He was at 165 last year, so he's up a weight. Only 1-0 this year, Kennedy, as he nearly gets a nice little ankle pick there. But did qualify for NCAAs, as I mentioned. Round of 16 finisher, 21-5 last year. And Contrera, a two-time qualifier for Penn over the last two years, 51-22 and 22 for his career. So definitely a nice upper weight bout this evening. Yeah, Patrick Kennedy, last week against Iowa State was his first match of the season. He was recovering from an injury at the NCAA tournament. So that was his first match post-injury. And Iowa also does have a true freshman in Gabe Arnold that's been making some noise so far for them. But they seem to have not have brought him on this trip. Um, you know, now with the new rule as well, you're allowed to wrestle a freshman five in five matches and still have them redshirt. So that can play in some team competitions, um, but also test out your athlete a little bit, see how they fare with the competition and the field. Arnold's been very impressive, as you mentioned, Joey, not here tonight. So it is Kennedy who is ranked at this weight and was the expected star, but Arnold definitely somebody they can use in some of those spots. He's seven and oh, Arnold is. He's wrestled in tool duels, so you can use you can still use him in three more events before you have to decide whether to redshirt him or burn his redshirt. And he actually did bump up to 184 against Iowa State and took out Iowa State's Will Feldkamp, one of the better guys at that way. Beat him in th beat him three two in that Cyhawk duel. So it worked out there, but they're going to give him a chance to rest for the time being as Incatrera's in on a shot here, single leg. Kennedy trying to defend. Nick's got to keep engaging his lats and his head here into this single leg position. Kennedy's starting to drape that shin whizzer in. Ideally, if Incontrera could get above the knee with his backside hand, that would make his finishing percentage a lot higher. But like I said earlier, this is a really tough position to finish. Probably the most troublesome of all finishing techniques. Incontrera still working it. That shin whizzer still there for Kennedy. It's a tough one. Elevating the single now. Let's see if he can get a trip. 10 seconds driving him, nothing yet. Kennedy still defending. Trying to stuff the head along the boundary. Three, Short time. Two, one, time. Oh, great effort by Incontrera, but not enough. End of the first period, still scoreless, but he's got the bulk of the offense through those first three minutes, and Kennedy is going to defer for the second period. Now look at it. That's a hard position for both guys. I mean, Incontrero was using a lot of energy and effort there at the end of the period to try to secure that takedown and ride out. But that's a victory right there for Kennedy to defend that shot on the edge, um, make the guy use up his energy, and starting in the top position. Kennedy on top right now to start the period. Incontrero trying to build his base, get to his feet. Now he's up, trying to fight the hands. And he's out for one. So Penn trying to get back on the board here. They trail 16 to three in the team score with four bouts remaining. Nick and Contrera is another leader here on the Penn team and close to my heart in being a Blair Academy grad. Wow, great, great inside reach single there by Kennedy. But it's great to see, you know, Penn's recruiting from this East Coast area, you know, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, depends who you ask, are the top wrestling states. And so far throughout this lineup, we've seen all New, New Jersey and Pennsylvania guys outside of Max Gallagher, our lone New Yorker, <laughs> at 125. It's certainly paid dividends for the Quakers who have risen as, a, as an overall dual team dual meet team I should say over the past couple of years and they're getting some high quality individuals and in this second stint for Roger Reina as head coach this is a team that's going to really make some noise in the Ivy League 
as they keep getting better. And Contrera, I don't know how that left leg is just not gassed yet. He's been able to balance so far and wow. finally get that foot free. Great poise there from Incontrera in that leg up position. That's a really hard position to defend and get out from. He's putting his own shot together here too. Trying to Kennedy. shelve the leg. Looking to get behind. Kennedy's got the takedown in Contrera. Up four to nothing. And he gets that takedown right before the period expires. Great work by Incontrera turning defense into offense. He'll take a 4-0 lead going to the third period. Love to see the reverse in energy like this. You can see it, right? A lot of energy spent by Kennedy on that single leg. Wasn't able to get it. Incontrera got his foot back down to the mat and took an attack right away of his own to finish out with that takedown. Saw a few fans in the stands giving the breaking sign. I know if we were in Iowa, and you're gonna this hear was that reversed, all the places. You'd be seeing that left and right. <laughs> Gotta give a shout out to those uh, Hawkeye fans who are watching at home if they didn't make the trip out to Philadelphia as Kennedy cuts away for one. One of the most rabid collegiate fan bases you'll see for any sport. Incontrera back in on a low single. Kennedy trying to defend and get the rever get reverse to position. Now Incontrera fighting. Has both legs, hipping in, nothing yet. Kennedy still locked around the body. Incontrera trying to extend the lead. Riding time, not a factor. Kennedy got to watch his shoulders a little bit too, especially if he gets flat. Incontrera still working out. Kennedy coming out the back. This is important for Incontrera to keep wrestling through this position. You can see Kennedy's trying to stalemate here. But for him to keep wrestling, one winds down the clock, and this is a one takedown match right now. And two, you don't want that referee to call the stalemates. You want to show that you're progressing through. No and Contrera fighting through. There's three. He's got a leg in, 40 seconds. It's seven to one. Now you got to think, Joey, does he cut him here and try to get one more? I think the Penn coaches are telling him to cut him. He one. does. Takedown can give Incontrera the major decision. He's got 23 seconds. He's up by five, slow single, chasing, drive. He's got a takedown. Nick Incontrera up 10 to two. Major decision in play. He's got 10 seconds. Got to be able to ride him out here. And a big opportunity for Penn to get themselves back in the team score. Kennedy can't cut away out of bounds. Three seconds. This will get this place alive. Penn's only won one bout this evening at 133. They can get back into it down the stretch here. You love to see that momentum shift. Like I was saying earlier, body language, right? You can tell, Lincoln Trera smelt that blood in the water and he put the, put the gas on. He had 30 seconds to go get that takedown and potentially secure the major. He rides out for three more seconds and we'll have four more teeth team points on the Penn leaderboard. Caution on Kennedy. They're going to wait for the clock to get fixed here. I believe there was about three point something seconds on the board. It's 2.99. Of course, the uh, you know, Brands brothers, of course, pointing at that clock there. Want to get that thing reset. Well, that clock's definitely good for challenges going down to the hundredth of a second. <laughs> if we got any close calls, you'll be able to tell. And Contrera rides him out for the rest of the period. 10-2, major decision. Nick and Contrera knocks off Patrick Kennedy in a ranked win for the Quakers. It's 16-7 with three bouts to go, and this place is as alive as they heard it all night. Next up with 184 is Aiden Riggins, Iowa. At number 32, Maximus Hale. A couple of the highlights there for In Contrera. Great work by him, Joey, to one of the more early statement wins of his season. Yeah, he kept going to the well. Some guys, you know, he took that first single leg, didn't end up finishing, but he just kept going back to it, and it proved to get him some takedowns and secure that major decision for the Penn Quakers. Going to 184, very interesting bout. As we come down the stretch, Penn not out of it. I mean, Maximus Hale.